So uh, for patients who have a diagnosis of ER positive, HER2 negative breast cancer that's recurrent, the main considerations that we think of right now in the clinic are the use of uh, CDK4-6 inhibitors. We have three that are available. Uh, palbociclib is the first to market, ribociclib as well as abemaciclib. <clears throat> and in addition, of course, we have um, hormonal therapy. The, uh, the, the drugs that are utilized in the, uh, in the setting are the aromatase inhibitors. Of course, we can use fulvestrin as well. The regimen that's utilized most commonly for patients with recurrent disease is an aromatase inhibitor plus CDK4-6 inhibitor. Uh, and uh, in that setting, for patients who have a, a diagnosis of recurrent disease, we're not using uh, next generation sequencing to necessarily guide our therapy as of yet. We don't have data, uh, let's say, that suggests that uh, CDK4-6 inhibitor may work, uh, uh, let's say, better or not at all in those patients. Uh, and so typically what we would do would be to see those patients obviously confirm that the tumor is estrogen receptor positive, is HER2 negative, and then go on and utilize a CDK4-6 inhibitor-based regimen. In terms of the choice of therapy, in the past many people said, well, they're all sort of equivalent, uh, they have differences in toxicity. I think what we're seeing, of course, is that uh, there are emerging uh, differences in terms of survival. Uh, with ribociclib consistently demonstrating an overall survival advantage, uh, uh, with uh, abemaciclib demonstrating a survival advantage in the second line setting, uh, as well as emerging data in the first line setting for Monarch 3 at the interim analysis, suggesting a clinically significant but not yet statistically significant difference at this interim time point. Um, and of course, we are seeing data uh, with the CDK4-6 inhib inhibitors, specifically abemaciclib, uh, that this drug uh, works in the adjuvant setting. So I think what we're thinking about at this point, uh, of course, there's still some variation in that, that there probably are differences in these CDK4-6 inhibitors, uh, and clinicians are beginning to, and patients are beginning to think about utilizing those regimens that consistently improve overall survival.